In this video, we are going to see how to make full fledged websites without any coding knowledge. So, without further delay, let's drop the intro. Before starting this video, my name is Shamdas and I am a professional graphic designer, video editor and UI UX designer. In this channel, we talk about designing tips, tricks and tutorials. So if you are into it, then consider subscribing to my channel. Alright guys, as most of you guys already know that this is the official website of Nairo Media, which is completely made in Google Sites. And you can just type in nairomedia.in in your browser in order to view it and follow along. This is something that it looks like and today we are going to replicate this design and see how to make this entire landing page on Google Sites. First of all, before starting the tutorial, I want to explain you guys about the block model of website designing. Any website can be simply understood by using the block model. According to this model, the whole website is a huge block and there are many other small blocks inside the website that will actually work as a placeholder for various kinds of media. Let's see this in action. The whole banner is actually a big block and inside this block there is a small block for the logo one for the site title, another one for the navbar which contains other small blocks for home projects, YouTube, freebies and about me. And also there is a huge text in the, in the foreground where it is actually holding the place for creating to inspire text. So this is actually another block. So this whole block contains so many blocks in order to uh, act as a placeholder for various kinds of media. So this whole website can be considered as a huge block containing various other small blocks in these subsections. Also a good thing about Google Sites is that inside Google Sites you can actually embed any other form of Google services. For example, YouTube videos, Google Forms, Google Sites, Google Slides, etc. So which is not actually a feature of various other free website builders. So this is actually a good thing. Well, beneath the banner you can see that there is a hero section of the website which actually contains my photo on the right hand side and some of the textual content on the left hand side. Also one thing to notice is that wherever these assets are used in this website they are manipulated in some way or the other. Well now I used Photoshop for this purpose but you can use any other software for doing this. But one thing that is to be noted is that you have to plan your website beforehand before making the website actually. So you need to make all these kinds of graphics and store them in a particular folder in your computer and not to disturb it in the near future because if it, is, it gets disturbed then it can cause various troubles in the future. Now let's jump into Google Sites. Let's type sites.google.com and press on the blank site button and it will automatically make a blank site template for you. Now as you can see this template looks quite a bit different from what we are going to make but uh, we are going to make exactly the same design as we have seen in our reference site. So first of all in this reference site there is a huge banner up front. So we are going to do the same thing on Google sites just go to change image and click on upload button. Now locate the assets of your choice and upload it. Now as you can see it has been uploaded here but the thing is that if you hover around the uh, bottom right corner you will be able to see there are two icons one is for removing readability adjustment another is for anchoring the image for anchoring the image you can use you can anchor the, the image in different directions but for the sake of making this video simple i will just click it on the center button next is readability adjustment so if you click this uh, some weird sort of thing will happen happen with your picture but I will recommend you not to click this as of now. Now anyways, if you see my reference website you will be able to see the font which is used here is not the same as the font which is actually used here. So here we are do going to do something interesting. One interesting feature about Google Sites is that if you copy the text from one of the Google Sites and paste it on the other Google Sites that you are currently editing, Google Sites will try to manipulate the font size, the font title, the font weight etc in order to make it as same as possible. So if we click on paste as you can see the font is detected as poppins and the uh, size is determined as 35 and also the title preset is applied. So this is what Google Sites will do if you do the same thing from another Google Sites. But if we go to the old way we can directly click on this fonts button and click on more fonts. 
Now let's try Poppins, which is actually the same font that is used in our uh, reference website. Now as you can see, Poppins is there. But if in this case Poppins is not there or any other font of your choice is not there, you can actually click on this more fonts icon and you can import the uh, font from the Google fonts library. For example, if I try to import Montserrat, it will also get imported and let's press OK in it. So as of now, Montserrat is selected, but let's do the smart way of doing things. We will just control it, control A and select all the uh, titles all together and just press paste over there. Now let's just add the site name over here and let's just add a logo and also upload a favicon over here. So let's write the alt text which is actually just a description of the photo you just uploaded. So I will just write logo of Nairo Media and just press the cross button. So as you can see, it has been updated over here. Now writing an alt text has three benefits. First of all, it helps to give a description of the image, which actually helps the SEO. The second thing is that it is actually a good uh, feature for person with disabilities. So when the text to speech uh, agent of the computer is actually going to enhance all the text over in the website and read it aloud, it will actually also read the alt text instead of the picture. And the third thing is that it actually helps the website when in some cases the website is not going to load properly because of poor connectivity issues. Then in that case, instead of the picture, the alt text will get loaded at first. Now let's build up the navigation bar. As you can see in my reference website, there you will be able to see that there are home projects, YouTube freebies about me. All these subsections or sub pages are there. And we can also do the same thing by clicking on pages and making a new page for each of the sub pages. Now, as you can see, I told you that we, do, we can't do really much of a thing with this readability adjustment button, but for some reason it, it's just getting a little bit glitched from the Google side of things, but we can can't do anything about that so we will just leave it just like that so let's increase the text width to utilize the whole width and let's just preview it if you preview it again the readability adjustment is going away so it's just a glitch from google's side of things now let's go to the hero section of the website if you see the reference website you will be able to see that there is a huge uh, text uh, over here on the left hand side of the hero section and a huge picture of my, me in the right hand side of the hero section. So I will just download the image over here and just uh, paste it in my desktop. To replicate this, I will just go to the insert tab and I will click on this content block. These content blocks are pre-made templates of how the media is going to handle. So we will just actually change this orientation a little bit. We will bring the photo over here and want to keep the text over here. I will also delete this portion because that is something which is not needed currently. And also I will just copy the whole text from here. As I mentioned that if you use Google Sites, then you can copy text from there and it will not uh, hamper the text size. Now also I will insert the photo over here. And my photo is inserted. But now one ha thing is happening is that my photo is getting cropped. So let's just click on this uncrop button. Currently in this portion of the text, there is the text, but as the background is white, so we are not able to view it as the font color is also in white. So what we can do here is that we can change the background color. If you go to a style section, then you will be able to see that there is a style one, style two and style three, and then there is an image section. So currently we can tap on style three, but this will actually change the background color. So what we can do is that we can simply pick up the hex code of this background color and we can go to the themes pages and then we can change the hex code of the last color. So as you can see the color is now changed and as you can see the style 3 is also now changed. Now as you can see the hero section is also prepared. Now if you go to further down the line then you will be able to see that there is a text over here. Uh, which is middle aligned and there are three content blocks 
uh, three images which are arranged in a particular fashion. So what we can do here is that we can simply go to the insert tab and create a text box over here and we can just simply copy the text from this website. We'll just copy it and paste it over here. So as you can see, it's made. Also one thing is to be noted that this orientation of pictures is kind of similar like this orientation. So we will just import this content block over here and we will try to add the images from this website to this website. So as you can see, these three images are already imported in our website and we just need to change the background color. For background color, as you can see, there are only three presets for background color and there is a last toggle for an image. So we will just import an image which is YOLO in color. I have already made this YOLO color background image in my computer. So I can just import that over here. Also, these backgrounds are actually imported and we can just turn off the readability adjustment feature. So now this section is also prepared. So as you can see further down the line, the trend is kind of same. There are huge text boxes over here and in some position there are certain orientation of text and images. So we can do write that from the content blocks and the whole uh, orientation of the website is kind of similar. So I will just uh, fast forward this portion of the video in order to save your time but there if there is something which is needed to be taught I will just pause there right in the middle so let's just do it So we have to make a particular button over here for that we have to just click on this button text and we have to just name it. So in this case it will be subscribe now and we have to just add the link over here. So I want to keep this in such a way that this button will take me directly to my YouTube page. So let's just add my YouTube link over here. So let's bring this button in the middle and just change the color. Also, as you can see, there are various styles for this button like filled, outline and textual button. But in this case, I will just keep it filled. So as you can see the whole landing page is actually made over here and just the one thing we have to make is that the footer. So for the footer the, the way is kind of similar just we have to click on this add footer section. So now as you can see the whole website landing page is currently made. You can also preview this landing page from here. And as you can see this is how the website is going to look like. So just for now we can cross out of it and we can click on this publish button icon. So we can give this uh, website an address for now just I am giving Nairo Media. So in this case Nairo Media is already taken because it is currently hosted in my name so I will just give Nairo Media 2. So in this case if you just type in this address of site.google.com slash view slash Nairo Media 2 it will be viewing this website. 
but in another case if you want to invest on a custom domain you can do right that and you can attach this custom domain to your google sites just for your heart's desire so that will be a complete different video of how to attach a custom domain with your google sites so in this case in this video we are going to stick with the custom uh, site that google actually provides as a subdomain which is actually the free route in case if you make further money from your youtube channel you can invest in a particular custom domain like I made which is nairomedia.in and attached it to my particular Google site. So in this case we can just click on the publish button but before clicking on the publish button as it is a Google uh, product there is a request for public search engines not to display my site so you can just check on this box in order to uh, the in order to such a case where you are looking forward to not to show this website to the particular public search engines because it may be the case that the website is under developmental condition and also you can manage who can actually view your website by simply typing in the uh, typing in the emails of the people you want to share with the website so that's the case you can actually do it that's something something that actually quite familiar with you guys as these are simply available in google drive so the process is actually same so as of now we can just uncheck this box and click on publish and as you can see it will take a little bit time to get published and you can see that your site has been published successfully and you can click on this view icon so as you can see if you type in sites.google.com slash view slash nairomedia this home is just for this page if you slide, uh, type in slash projects then if you it will take you to this particular page but obviously projects page is now currently not in developed stage so we are just going to stick on this home page in the projects youtube freebies and about me page that will also go in a similar fashion so you can actually do that right from here so in this case uh, we have actually published our entire landing page over here and as you can see it is currently hosted on google so it will be very much fast so that's it for today's video guys i hope that this video has provided some kind of value to your website or some kind of value to your knowledge and i hope that most of you guys will actually uh, be habituated with using google sites as of now but this google sites tool is actually very free and good tool in order to make your first website which is completely free of any coding knowledge so even if you don't know a single line of code you will be able to build websites using google sites so i hope that you will enjoy this tool and make awesome portfolios for your uh, graphic designing and ui ux designing work and maybe any other work out there so i hope that you have liked this video actually this video was much requested from my friends over here in my college so this is just a video that you can actually share it with your fellow mates so that's pretty much it for this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload contents like this till then stay creative and i hope to see you in my next video